I'm here today to show you our companion cart with the craft wrap apron. So when you buy the companion cart with the craft wrap apron, you get a lot of goodies with your cart. You get the cart itself and it comes, there is a little bit, of just a tad of assembly required. There's another video about how to put it together. Super simple. I think it took me like four minutes to put it together. So you get the cart. The cart includes three of the fully removable um, pull-out baskets, right? So that's one of the cool things about the design of this cart. The baskets are not welded in, so you can pull it out to get to the things in the back or bring it to your workspace. You get a tool tower and you get a stadium arranger and those will fit together in one of the baskets and you can use them in any of the baskets. Um, or you can take them out and use them on your desk. And then you also get this gorgeous turquoise blue craft wrap apron. And this is going to allow you to really maximize the amount of stuff you can put in your cart. So I want you to notice how I'm just rotating this little cart around 360 degrees. So the wheels, sometimes you get a cart that has locking wheels. Um, or wheels that don't, not all four wheels turn, but this is going to turn with one hand right next to you at your workspace. You're also going to get five of our clearly organized divider boxes, right? So clearly, they're difficult to see because they're clear, but the, these five boxes fill one basket. They're just really going to help you segment off that section, those, that basket into sections for storing whatever you're going to store in there or, or whatever tools or supplies you're going to put in there. Okay, so let's talk about dimensions, right? So the um, cart from the floor to the top of the bar is 25 inches tall. If we're going across this way, it is 10 inches deep. And if we're measuring across the front, it is 18 inches wide, right? So there are your basic dimensions. Let me tell you what's really the most important thing about the dimensions. Um, the most important thing for me is that it is only 25 inches high. And the beautiful thing about that is it's going to roll under your desk or under your work table, right? Most um, workspaces are about 30 inches tall. So you're going to be able to just roll that right under your work table or under your desk and pull it out when you need it. Super cool. Okay, so now you've seen it empty. Let's take a look at what it will hold if we load it up. There it is all loaded up. You are going to be amazed at how much stuff you can literally put at your fingertips with this tiny little cart. Okay, so let's start with the apron. What will the apron hold? The craft wrap apron. Let's start on this side. You've got all these little cylindrical pockets here, everything from crayons to knitting needles. I've got my two favorite handheld tools right at my fingertips my row of washi tape. This pocket is loaded up with embossing folders. As I rotate around the back, I've got plenty of room for 12 by 12 paper. I've got paper that I've stored in my um, collection keeper and paper pockets in there, easy to get to, protected. I've got my cutting mat, right? So my 12 by 12 cutting mat, which is actually closer to 13 by 13. And then if you're a quilter or if you sew, you know these big rulers are always kind of a pain. They're hard to put away, hard to pull back out. Well, here they are right at your fingertips in one of those giant pockets. Rotating around this side, I've got another long pocket. Again, great for long cutting mats. Uh, long rulers are going to fit in there. I've got basically a holster here for my um, favorite tape runner. And then these are my favorite things. And I skipped the one on the other side. When you're crafting, it's always a pain in the neck about where to put your paper trimmer, right? So we've got this long, thin pocket over here. So when you're using your paper trimmer, you can just kind of tuck it in and let it stick out. And then as you're using it, you can put it away and take it out, put it away and take it out. And then when you're not using it, I can't see what I'm doing over there. So you can just tuck it right back in. There is one of those pockets on both sides. So if you're like me, I'm kind of a junkie for paper trimmers. You can put whatever your two favorite paper trimmers are right there and have them right at your fingertips. Easy to pull out, easy to use, right? So if you're sitting in your workspace, you can just tuck it into that pocket, pull it out, use it, tuck it back into the pocket. So simple. 
All right, let's talk about what is in what else fits in each of these baskets. Well, in this top basket, I have left my stadium arranger and my tool tower in there. And you can see I've just got a plethora of tools all loaded up. Um, everything from uh, jewelry making tools, pens, glitter, cutting tools, my favorite scissors, uh, big uh, quilting rulers, my rip-in rulers, right? Those are three-dimensional rulers. They're kind of hard to store, but they fit perfectly in that section. You do have a little bit of a gap back here, too. So if you are using a lot of taller um, quilting rulers, those are going to stand up along the back of this top tray when you're using the stadium arranger and the tool tower in the section. The next tray I've just loaded up. Now I've used those clearly organized divider boxes that come with your kit. So I've got ribbon in two of them, washi tape. Of baker's twine, um, paint and sprays, glitter glues, all organized into those trays. So I know it's kind of hard to see. I'll pull one tray out, right? And that keeps everything from sliding around in the tray and bunching up, right? So you're going to get five of these. You get this set that you see here with the kit. I've got this bottom basket loaded up with different kind of inks and I just used a few of our easy to O bags. So this is the Shelly bag and you can see I've got those teardrop inks and um, some dauber type inks. Of course I've got my cleaner. I've just got a stack of ink here, a couple of um, just clear acrylic blocks, square inks. This is the Edna bag, the Sue bag loaded up with Stampin' Up, and then of course the Irene bag with my powder puff inks. So in just this one tray, I've got literally dozens of ink pads. They're all organized, they're all labeled, they're all in this scenario st stored flat, and I've got some cleaner, and you could, there's still a little space in here for other tools and supplies that you need. So if you wanted to group your supplies, these are all my stamping supplies together, you could do that in one tray or a couple of trays depending on your addiction to stamping. The nice thing, like I said, about it is the trays do pull all the way out. So if you're working with, if you say, oh, I want to work with, um, with, you know, my glitter glues or washi tape and you've got that full tray of those items, you can bump that up to the top, right? So now you've got the things that you're working with on the top and then you can just rotate it back down um, when you're working with something else. So there's so much versatility with the, with the cart, with the trays pulling in and out. And again, with the stadium arranger and the tool tower, you can easily leave those on your desktop, right? You're going to have that maximize your workspace on your desktop. And then you can use that third basket up on top or rotating it through um, for something else as well. Okay, what else can you put in your cart? I have my Grand Caliber here, and down here I have six of our dynamic storage uh, boxes, right? So I've got all my dies stored here in, in these little boxes on my file cards, and I've got them right here. So I could have my uh, Grand Caliber and my dies. I could fill the bottom tray with the dies as well. Um, cutting platforms are here in this back pocket. I could also have the cutting platforms right up here with the Grand Caliber if I had this full of other things. But you can see visible and accessible right here in this back pocket. So I've got my machine, my dies, and the cutting platforms all together in one place. Also, things like any kind of project that you're working on. Um, maybe you sew and you've got, uh, or you knit. So I've got, you know, threads and uh, fabrics, pins, needles, that type of thing. One of the really cool things about this cart is that you can bring it with you wherever you go around your house, right? That's why we call it the companion cart. Um, because whether you're uh, loading it up with cake decorating things and keeping it in the pantry and pulling it out while you're working in the kitchen or you've got your latest knitting project, project loaded up into it and you're pulling it next to your chair while you're watching TV or you have like your Grand Caliber loaded up in there and you just are only going to pull it out when you actually want to use that machine and those dies but you've got your machine, your platform and your dies all, all together in one place. So the versatility is just amazing. I mean, it's going to be so perfect if you have a bathroom where you have a little vanity that you can roll it under and you can put your cosmetics and your hair care products and all those types of things in there and then roll it under that counter. Maybe you have teenage 
daughters who need a place to put all of their little hair accessories and their makeup and everything else and keep it in their bedroom and roll it into the bathroom with them when they go or a dorm student or something like that. It's so, because it is so, it's small, it's narrow, it's easy to move around. It is so completely versatile and flexible. You're gonna love working with it in your home. And I know you're gonna love it in the bathroom and in the garage and the kitchen and everywhere else. I can't wait to see how you use the companion cart with the craft wrap apron and the um, clearly organized divider boxes.